Okay, so today we have 2017 HBCU Game Day Protect the Skull Defensive Player of the Year, 2018 AP NFL Football Defensive Rookie of the Year, 2019 Pro Bowl Selection, now 2020 Indianapolis Colts Team Captain Darius Leonard. Thank you so much for being here. No problem. Thanks for having me. So Darius, South Carolina State is leading the HBCU pack in the NFL with seven alum now playing in the NFL. What's so special about the South Carolina State football program? Um, the, the, the rich tradition we have there, you know, we're we're the number one team in the state, even in the PWIs with NFL Hall of Famers. So, you know, that's what we breed down there. You know, we always talk about, you know, football being the best at playing football, no matter what. and. You know, it's always competing there. I think we have um, 14 MEAC championships. So, you know, that's something that we really believe in is just being the best, outworking everybody. And uh, thanks South Carolina State for giving me the opportunity to be a part of that uh, rich tradition. Okay, so Darius, you were a 2018 second round pick. Um, of course, you know, you were a show out. They had to get you early, uh, but this past season, this past draft, an HBCU guy wasn't selected until the seventh round. Do you think it was the talent that fell off or you think it was the scouting and exposure that fell off? I think scouting is an exposure. You know, that's something I'm really big on because, you know, I feel like a lot of a lot of scouts are scared to, you know, take that chance of, you know, a, a big time name. Well, a big time player to come from HBCU because as you seen when I got drafted, you know, so much bad things were saying you don't pick a uh, FCS guy this early, you know, he's the worst draft pick in the um, in the in the draft, and you, that's something that I really think that scouts really are afraid of. You know, if they they take a guy from an HBCU over someone who went to the Power Power Five school, you know, they you know they're sometimes scared or skeptical about it, and I feel like you know we we have a lot of guys in HBCUs that you know deserve to play in the NFL, but there's so many scouts that are so scared because we're not getting the same exposure. We're not playing on TV day in and day out, and we're not big time names. And I really feel like if we played on TV just as much as anybody else or played against any other talent, I think we, we would have more of HBCU guys in the NFL. Because if you see the NFL, what HBCU guys in the NFL, we're actually balling just like any other um, any other guy. So can you think of anyone that you played with in college, maybe on your team or somebody you matched up with against that you think if they had the correct exposure, they would have been successful in the NFL? Um, I would I would say this past this past year I played um I played with um Burroughs. Um he was number one at South Carolina State as a receiver. And, you know, every game I saw him play, he either had three touchdowns, four touchdowns, two touchdowns, and you know, he's a big target and I really felt like if they would have had you know, with, with his corona stuff, I really felt like if he would have had the right exposure of, you know, being in front of scouts more and stuff like that, I really think he should have had a shot. And, you know, it sucks, but, you know, we just got to find a way to get more exposures. I saw that they said it was doing HBCU Pro Day, so I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to that. Okay, so you talked about how when these guys, when they do, um, you know, go to HBCUs, you guys show out in the NFL, and you have a fellow guy in your linebacker room of Robert Mathis, who's a black college football Hall of Famer, possible NFL Hall of Famer. Do you guys ever, like, chop it up, you know, MEAC versus swag? Do you ever guys talk trash or, you know, talk your HBCU football? <laughs> you know, we definitely talk trash because, you know, the MEAC is the, the best football ever, and, you know, we always talk about the swag. I am mean, going to lie, swag is whack, you know, that's <laughs> – <laughs> that's what, that's what I'm gonna uh, say, and you know we had Chester Rogers here. He was uh he was playing at Grambling, um so he was an HBCU guy too. So you know we definitely talk trash, but it's nothing but love. You know it's because we know that we really got it out of the mud. That was nothing handed to us. Like Robert Mathis was undrafted. I think Chester was undrafted, and you see exactly what they're doing. So we we have a bond because we know what it really takes. We don't we wasn't we don't have the silver spoon. You know we didn't have the spotlight and this and that. So. Everything we had to do, we got it straight out the mud, and we know that we're going to grind. That's why you see a lot of undrafted guys or HBCU guys make the team better than, you know, the other power school guys because we know what it's got to take. We know that we got to get it out the mud. We're not going to, okay, say it's practice. No, we're going to go full speed no matter what because we're trying to find a job. We're trying to show you that just because you went to a power five school doesn't mean that you're better than me. 
That's a fact. Love that energy. We definitely love the energy. So I know you brought up the MEAC. So now I got to ask you. I know you said at HBCU game day, you said back in the past when you won the Defensive um, Player of the Year Award, you said we talked too much about a and But I have to ask you, Darius, you're matching up with Tariq Cohen this October. What are you looking forward to in that old MEAC foe? Man, I'm definitely looking forward to that, man. Um, <clears throat> we went at it. We went at it in the college, you know. Uh, I think we was his kryptonite. Well, we always joke about it. Uh, I think he's out of the four years he played. I think he might. He might. You know, he scored once. He scored mm-hmm. once his senior year. So, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to it. You know, just you know, playing against a fellow HBCU guy. Um, you know, he's a shifty guy. He's a he's a great he's a great player. So, definitely looking forward to going against him once again. I know he's definitely got you circled on his calendar. I know all the HBCU fans have that game circled because they're ready for that matchup again. Definitely looking forward to that. You know, that's that's when you know that everybody's paying attention. All the HBCU guys, because it's, you know, South Carolina State versus North Carolina a and all over again. And, you know, South Carolina State, you know how we do. <laughs> <laughs> so, Darius, okay, I have to ask you, such a young player, you're coming into a leadership role in your team. Over your past two seasons, you have 244 total tackles, 12 um, sacks, seven interceptions. What's – What's next for you? What are we, can we expect from you this season? Um, you know, um, my, my goals are – I say my goal is pretty high. You know, I want 200 tackles, uh, 10 sacks, seven interceptions, you know, Super Bowl ring, defensive player of the year, league MVP, you know. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of people are afraid to say their goals so high, yeah. you know. But if you aim for the stars, land on the moon, you know, that's something that, you know, is, it's still powerful. And – that's something that I really take pride in. Um, and I, I show it day in and day out. Um, every day I come to work, I'm you know, running to the ball day in and day out. I'm making sure that, you know, I'm on the jug machines because it's a small thing. Like people always see the destination, but they never talk about the process to get into the destination. And you really got to focus in on the process of how you get to your destination. That's something that I really um, take pride in. I, I go to work day in and day out, and I'm trying to let people know that I'm not just playing for myself, I'm playing for my family, I'm playing for my town, and I'm playing for every HBCU that's out there because we're definitely tired of getting overlooked by these scouts or any other big um, NFL team. NFL team. Okay, you wrapped it up pretty well. Thank you so much, Darius, for coming on and bringing so much energy and so much insight. We're definitely going to be looking out for what you do this season. Um, of course, going to be looking out for that matchup against the Bears. So. Good luck with everything. Um, all I know is these opposing teams better watch out because I can definitely feel the energy through the, this screen. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. All right, peace.